Hey guys, first and foremost, Happy New Year. Um, this year, one of my resolutions is actually to make more videos. I know that I didn't do too many in 2017, but we're almost at the 4,000 subscriber range, and I wanted to just continue to provide content to you guys. So today, we're going to be showing you some new additions to the reptile room. So a couple of weeks ago, one of my friends posted on one of the local Canadian reptile groups that he was looking to sell some of his geckos. And when I saw these geckos, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. I saw them and I've been wanting them for so long. So what I want you to do right now is before I tell you what they are, why don't you write down in the comments down below and tell me what you think it is. And if you follow me on uh, Instagram or on Facebook, you already know what they are. Uh, so no cheating. All right. Um, before I do so, uh, a little bit of suspense, I'm going to be showing you um, an update on some of my current animals, just so you can see how they're looking. So, there is my, uh, one of my female, Jahua. She's doing quite well. She's actually looking quite gravid now. Um, she uh, has put on a significant amount of weight. We are in cooling right now, so it's kind of weird for her to be gravid, but she has had about three months since her last set of eggs, so I'm not too worried if she was to lay uh, any day now. This is her mate, Winston. And uh, Winston actually was my very first Chihuahua. I said this in my last video, and uh, if you watch the, um, the video on how we came up with the idea of the Reptile Edge, which actually created the company Reptile Edge, um, I'll link it up on the top here, you would know that he is actually the inspiration for it. When I went to go get him, um, the old owner was indicating how everything was just too expensive for reptiles. And I knew that with my engineering background, I could design something that would be rather inexpensive. So that's, that is all thanks to this little guy over here. And I don't want to stress him out too much, so I'm going to put him back. Here is an unknown uh, locale, told to me to be a Nuana, however it's not showing or attributing true Nuana features, um, so I'm considering her a unknown locale until I can prove its true locality. Um, she's a lone female right now, and luckily the other day um, I posted on a group saying I was looking for a complimenting male to her and I found the perfect male. So there will be a video soon on when I pick him up, which should be in the next week or two. Um, but I figured I'd give an update on my lone female uh, to say that she will be bred soon. I also wanted to give you guys an update on Beauty. Um, Beauty is still rather rough. Uh, she's still thin. I've actually had to be uh, hand feeding her for now because she just doesn't want to hunt for food or look for food herself. So I'm providing her with all of her nutrition um, via tongs. Now her tail at the base has started to straighten out and the tip is still very, very wavy. However, it is a good indication that she's slowly getting better. She'll never be the same. Her tail will probably always look like this. Um, and she's still rather thin but she is getting better and I'm doing a uh, monthly checkup with my veterinarian to make sure that she is not suffering. If she is, I will put her down because that's the last thing I would want. But yeah, there's beauty. All right, so have you guys guessed uh, what the new additions are yet? Um, if not, comment down below and I'm gonna be showing them to you. So these are the new additions, Neferis Emye. These guys are little bulldogs. If you surprise them, they'll bark at you. Um, if they feel threatened, they'll start doing push-ups to as a threat display. Um, but they are also very, very sensitive, so I don't want to be handling them too long as well. 
but these guys are super cool. The male, which is this one, is super red. I got a female as well. They're currently separated to ensure that you know they are uh, quarantined appropriately and I don't want to actually house them together. I will only put them together for breeding purposes. But I figured I would do a care video in the future, but I wanted to update you guys on the new species in the room. So let me get the female for you guys. So here's the female. They're actually a proven pair, um, which makes it even better. She is nice and big. Look at her sizing. She is a beautiful animal. The male has that weird red coloration. I don't know if that has something to do with his more for anything like that. Uh, but I'll look more into the genetics. But according to him, he's just the person that I purchased him from. Um, they're just, he's just more red. So, but their care is rather, rather simple, and I'll do a video on them shortly. But there is Neferis Emye. And, you know, excuse my pronunciation, I may be completely off there, um, but who cares? They are beautiful. So that's it guys. Uh, we have two new geckos in the reptile room and they are amazing. I will be having some new videos on them in particular, on their setups, as well as their care and breeding them in the future. I will also be doing a video on the new male that I got for my lone female, um, on pairing a new pair of lychees who are both virgins, so that this way um, you guys can get it first-hand experience. Um, and then, I also have a surprise pairing of lychees coming in and I will be doing a unboxing video of those as well. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.